Hey, and good afternoon. I am so glad you guys have joined me here today. I'm Angela Brown, and I'm here with Sean Day from Higher Lead Chill. Now, one of the most interesting things about today's conversation is we are going to have a really difficult conversation that many of you ask me about all the time, which is how do I find and hire good employees, right? So we've gone right to the source himself. So we're going to ask all the questions today, and Sean is going to give us all the answers. So thank you for joining me, and please help me welcome Sean Day. How are you today, Sean? Good, Angela. Thanks for having me on. Hi, everybody. Communication is really important because when somebody comes for a job interview, for me, it's kind of where the rubber meets the road. I'm trying to really find out if you are going to be a good fit for my company. And I don't want to sugarcoat things in the beginning. And I don't want to like over promise because it's really hard for me to try to deliver on my promises if I've over promised what we're actually going to be able to deliver. And so my goal on bidding jobs and my goal on recruiting is to under promise and over deliver. And so I want to be really shallow on the promises yeah. because I don't want to say I'm going to give you this and this and this and this, because what I find I end up attracting, and maybe this is different for you, but if I over promise, what I find is there are a whole bunch of people that show up, forgive me, because this is going to sound like I'm making judgments and I'm not. But people that have these very long fingernails and they're like, oh, I can't work. I can't do anything because I don't want to chip my nail. And then they just kind of like dust a little bit of things like, OK, I'm done with a job now. Like, no, that is not how we do. We have to really get down and get grubby and we have to do the cleaning. You got to actually clean. Right. Don't yeah. be walking around afraid you're going to break a nail because this is a job where people pay us to get grimy. Right. It's not <laughs> cute. Right. It's not fun. But so we have to paint a realistic picture. Yes. So tell me what you would do in order to find the right fit for a company. For us, we rely on our screening process, our scoring system and our screening process. We actually used to have a lot of those questions during the interview process. Hmm. And we said, why are we waiting to the interview process to do that? Let's ask them on the online application, track it, and let that data determine based on data, who's going to be a good fit for our company. And then what we do is, and this is going to sound crazy, I'm telling you, but it works for us and most of our clients. Our message is what to expect at the interview, zero questions and zero stress. It will be a presentation by the owner or manager as to why you're going to wake up every morning and love to come to work for us. Now, that doesn't mean we don't screen during this. But what happens is as we're talking about our core values and our culture and how you can make money and even more money if you do these things, how we started the company, where we're at today and where we want to be in three years from now, okay, you're going to see people looking out the window. You're going to see people looking down, but you're going to see a couple people going like this a little bit and looking and asking questions. And I'm telling you, when you see somebody get a little bit excited about your culture and your core values, I don't know of any better screening than that. We've already screened them with our behavior and our sort of personality assessment stuff. I now want to see if you're going to really, really get a spark when you hear us talk about who we are. And it's the same thing. We're really screening. The other ones are the ones we're screening out. Mm. Now, do we set expectations that this is going to be an easy job and the best job of your life? Absolutely not. In fact, we tell you there's going to be a lot of tough situations, but this is where our culture comes in. When you come in and you're not feeling real well, or you see a customer that you're, eh, boy, she's on my schedule. It's up to your team and the ownership and managers in the team to come up to you and get you riled up and get you in a good mood and take care of you. We're all in this together. That's part of the culture with that. So there are things that we definitely set the expectations. This is not unicorns and cotton candy all day long, for sure. And we definitely tell them the expectations and how they're rewarded for those difficult times as well. So there comes a moment if you have people that are like looking out the window and they're bored and looking at their phones and whatever. How do you tell those people like you didn't get the job? So at the end of the interview, and imagine five people in the room, this is literally what happens almost every time. Those that were looking out the window say thank you very much and they walk out the door. 
the ones that were excited and asking questions, one or two will stick around and talk to you and say, that was really unique. I've never had an interview like that or something like that. And then they say, you know what? I really love what you had to say. And I really hope I get the job. If we're hiring, we put our hand out and we say, Jane, you got the job. Mm. Subject to a few things that our insurance company makes us go through with background checks and so on. Always make it subject to a few things. But before everybody leaves, we tell them we're going to reach out in 24 hours or less, reach out to every one of you and let you know, you know, where we're at with things. And so we'll email the ones out that we know that we're looking out the window and all that sort of thing. And we just let them know that it's not going to happen. If we get a lot of people to the interview and there's maybe 10 or 12 people in the room, we actually will have somebody sitting in there as well, whether it's a technician or a manager or something like that. And they'll actually look around the room because if you're doing a presentation, you can't see everybody and what they're up to. So absolutely, it depends. I want people that are excited about our culture and who we are. I love this conversation. And oh my goodness, our time has come to an end. Oh. Please tell our listeners where they can go to find you, Sean. Absolutely. So you can go to hireleadchill.com. And we've got all kinds of information on there. I've got a Facebook. I'm uh, doing podcasts and things like that, like Angela. Hire Lead Chill is our group on Facebook. And if you want to talk to me about anything, you want to see our system, you want to know what I might be able to help you out with, with finding good employees, giving you some good ideas to try on your own, or hire us. Go to Hire Lead Chill, and there's all kinds of buttons on there that say there's a request free demo with Sean or something like that. And it's not that I'm just going to give you a demo, but I'll answer any questions you have and we'll chat about anything you want to chat about. Thank you so much, Sean, for today. This was awesome. You guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Take care.